I call you Zini Sage. Thank you, Mr Chair. Please take a call on the Record and Race Course Bill and the Record and Race Course De Development Enabling Bill. Just like to pick up um, the point of exemplar developments because the Green Party also believes that this is a lost opportunity um, in terms of this development, Champions Mile, I think it's going to be called. If it's got a name like that, it should live up to that name. And we have seen under this government far too little commitment in the rebuild in Christchurch, whether it is in housing, um, commercial buildings and standards for those, to sustainability principles. If we're going to have affordable housing, the houses not only need to be affordable to buy, they need to be affordable to operate. Where you get big houses that aren't um, well insulated, yes, there are certain provisions in the building um, code, but you need houses that are energy efficient. That requires that they are oriented to the sun. Exemplar developments could embrace those principles to ensure that we are building the most sustainable housing stock that reduces uh, the costs of operating it in terms of energy. Exemplar houses would also be well situated so that they encourage our community to develop. They would have good um, play communal spaces for people. They would have good use of open space. Yet this uh, development, by not being an exemplar subdivision, is losing that opportunity. And one of our other concerns with this bill is that uh, with the 40 hectares of the Rickerton Racecourse reserve land being used to provide affordable housing, that is great. But it seems to be a philosophy of this government, not only in this bill, but also in the Resource Legislation Amendment Bill, where it is making it easier for recreation reserves and other reserves under the Reserve Act to potentially be built on and used for subdivision. That is very short-sighted if we are sacrificing the green areas, the open spaces within our cities and towns for subdivision and housing development because it reduces amenity values, it has potential health effects if there's not uh, open space where people can recreate, and because of the substantial benefits to mental well-being that being exposed to nature and green spaces uh, provides. So in sustainable cities, we have good green spaces. We don't want to see the changes in the Resource Legislation Amendment Bill that see um, these green spaces being compromised. Here, the trade-off is that uh, with this 40 hectares of racecourse reserve land uh, being uh, having its reserve status revoked in order to build 600 new homes, that 30% uh, of those, or 180 of those homes, will be affordable. But, Mr Chair, that leads us to the way in which uh, affordable is defined in Clause 6, and it is in relation to the $450,000 uh, being the maximum sale price. Well, Mr Chair, in New Zealand, where we have $450,000 houses being defined as affordable, that is well beyond the reach of many young people, of many even two-income families. So it is a reflection in this bill that we're setting it at such a high level uh, when the average house price in Christchurch is around 490000 now that the government has really failed um, to increase the supply of affordable housing by actually getting Housing New Zealand to build more homes. This bill makes a small gesture, but it is not about the, on the scale that's needed to increase the supply of affordable homes by having the government through Housing New Zealand uh, building those homes. So that is another uh, major issue that the government might see this as part of its um, strategy to deal with the housing crisis, but the real answer to the housing crisis is the government needing to stop um, speculators, to restrict foreign buyers, to put in a capital gains tax except for the family home and to build homes through Housing New Zealand for people who desperately uh, need them. The other issue I'd like to talk about is uh, in relation to clause, 40, clause 9 and the minimum requirements of the development scheme. Um, in the clause it says that the, um, as well as the affordable uh, houses requirement, that the development must be capable of satisfying the relevant regional and district planning requirements, including in relation to providing any infrastructure to service the development. This is where the Green Party has very little confidence in Environment Canterbury being able to ensure that the transport infrastructure in terms of bus services is adequate. 
because it is that council which recently proposed, Mr. Chair, Chair, Sage. Thank you, which recently proposed in its annual plan to increase bus fares in Christchurch. Now, if there's anything that is more likely to reduce public patronage, it's a fare increase. So where you have a council which, even after the October uh, elections, will still have six commissioners on it, potentially, that council has really failed to pick up the ball in terms of the changed configuration of Christchurch post-quake to actually ensure that bus services are adequate so that people have easy access to public transport. So while there is this requirement um, in the bill, we don't have confidence that ECAN will provide the necessary services so that people don't have to uh, rely on private motor vehicles. And that again is where if it had been an exemplar uh, development, it would have much better ensured that there were good uh, walkways, cycleways and integrated links with uh, public transport. So here it is relying on the City Council and the Regional Council. And the City Council uh, and the Regional Council, um, we hope, will actually rise to that uh, opportunity, but we're not confident that ECAN actually will. Um, in relation to the providing for the transfer of some land around Paparoa Stream, certainly uh, that is a good part of the bill. Uh, the development does result in a number of the big trees that are on Rickerton Racecourse being uh, felled to uh, provide for sections and also um, road corridors. Uh, we would like to see the developers recognise that those open space areas that are being sacrificed for this development, um, that they must therefore do their maximum to ensure that the remainder of the um, open space that isn't going to be covered with houses is actually accessible to people um, and provides for the variety of recreation needs that people can currently um, have at the race course. So, Mr Chair, there are lost opportunities with this, with it being uh, not being an exemplar uh, subdivision and with the fact that there was um, suggestions in select committee from the Green Party that we tighten up the requirements around sustainability uh, for energy use in particular, passive solar, uh, making sure the uh, plan for the subdivision was well designed. And I think um, that's disappointing, uh, and I think it is a bit of a lost opportunity, but we will be voting for the bill because it does provide for um, some more affordable homes. Are the uh, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove?